Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's short video, I'm asking an age-old question. Why doesn't every single racing game that's ever been made, and that will ever be made, include VR support? Racing games are just so much better with VR. I don't typically play racing games. I don't like them. It's not a genre I necessarily gravitate towards. And you'll see that today because I am garbage at this game. This is Ride 5. And honestly, this is one of the most intensely realistic looking and feeling experiences I've ever had in VR. It is kind of terrifying the speeds you travel at in this and just how realistic the game looks. This game feels phenomenal in VR with the Unreal Engine VR Injector and it's just crazy to me that something like this doesn't have native VR support because this would sell headsets to people. People would go out and want to try this. They can obviously try it with the Unreal Engine mod but native VR support would go a long way to pushing this medium there's a bike uh, to, to more people making it seem like something that is more viable and oh look at that it just really showcasing how cool VR is let me jump into a race and show you what I mean okay here we go now honestly I completely mean it when I say this is one of the most terrifyingly realistic looking and feeling VR experiences that I have ever had. Um, now I've never driven a motorbike, let alone one of these like super bikes, um, but I imagine this is what it must feel like to do so, except with far more fear for my own life because at least in here if I come crashing off I won't actually crack open my skull and die. Um, now this is Ride 5. There are two ride games that work with the Unreal Engine VR injector. There's Ride 5 and Ride 4. Ride 4 is a lot cheaper if you just want to kind of dip your toe in. Uh, and then Ride 5 is still about $49.99. So it's a full price game. You can get it cheaper if you know where to look and you go on key sites and things. Uh, I got my copy for something like $26.99 from CD Keys. But, but this is a phenomenal VR experience and it's not uh, even an official VR experience. Now, I'm not good at the game. Uh, I haven't got the turning down. I'm not brave enough to kind of go as fast as these other bikes, especially when it comes to corners. Um, no! But I absolutely adore the game. Especially this track. This rainy British track. Th this looks like roads and villages I drive through in uh, the real world. Like, oh no! Oh no, I crashed. Um, this looks like villages and roads I drive down on a daily basis. They've absolutely nailed <laughs> what England looks like, especially in the rain. Um, and it's usually always raining. This, this is mind-blowing. Some of the best VR visuals I've seen as well. Now, when you play this with the Unreal VR injector, I am able to play! Oh no, I shouldn't lift my hands up. Oh, he's very dead. You are able to play with the touch controllers. So all the buttons have been mapped onto touch controllers, so not having to use a controller or my keyboard and mouse. You could do if you wanted to, but, but this seems to be working really, really well. Um, the whole game rendered in gorgeous, um, full 3D VR. Like, everything has the scale size and kind of believability person sitting next to that house taking pictures of me um, and, and it honestly it looks like mind-blowingly good doesn't need to be a long video because I'm garbage at the game and I don't need to show you guys just how garbage I am um, but I do want to highlight it because this has jumped right to the top of the list of like the most impressive things I've played with the Unreal Engine injector and there's so many games that work really well, but this is crazy. I've turned off like most of the HUDs as well. It's, the only thing I have left on is like the, the corner. Oh, I can't do the corners! How do you do corners on a bike? Holy crap. Uh, I've left on the corner indicator to try and help me in situations like that, but it's clearly not helping me. I think you need to like start turning really early to get low, like basically get your bike down. Yeah, basically stop. I have to basically stop. 
Now, obviously, I'm garbage at the game because every other uh, bike, every other competitor, they're long gone. Um, I'm never going to see them again. But if you were good at this game, just imagine how good it would feel in VR to be toe-to-toe -to -toe with the other riders, the other bikes, and really be competing and seeing them alongside you. Because that's when this game's at its best, when you're in a pack of other bikes and you can really feel them closing in on you. And it feels tight, it feels claustrophobic, it, it feels incredible. <laughs> Can't do corners. It was incredible. Where'd that man with the flag come from? Hello, mate. You're right. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a good example of uh, how to play this game. I just want to show you what the game looks like, and honestly, it looks gorgeous inside the headset. Now, basically, the entire game works in VR as well once you've got this hooked up. So you can play the career mode, you can play single races, and there is multiplayer. However, that part I'm unsure of. So I can't say the entire game. Potentially almost the entire game works in VR. The reason I'm not sure about multiplayer is because Ride 5 added easy anti-cheat at the start of this year and you have to bypass that to get the Unreal Engine injector to hook on and work with this game. Uh, all the guides on how to do that are in the flat to vr Discord channel. Go and check it out. But I'm not sure that multiplayer works. I can't find any lobbies. So I would either assume it's not working or maybe no one's online playing at this time of day uh, wanting to race against a level one noob like me. Okay, this track is a completely different vibe because it's very sunny all of a sudden and we're no longer in Britain, we're now in Japan. Uh, let's see if we can get around just like the first corner. Oh, okay, I made it around the first corner. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, look at this, riding alongside all these other bikes. It looks so good. Why does this game not uh, have official VR support? It's beyond me. Every racing game should have it. I, j I just, you know, I know like development costs and, and getting teams to embrace VR is tough, but oh, come on, it just, this would sell headsets to people, especially racing game fans. Oh, you took me out, you cheeky little bugger. Um, like, I'm not a racing game guy, typically, but I would play the absolute shit out of this if I could get good at it, um, and I would need a lot of practice to get good at it, I think. It's going to take me a long time, because I cannot I cannot even get around the corners. I think you almost need to, like, throttle whilst braking to to push the bike out. Ra yeah, I think you do, actually, because I'm trying to brake and then take my finger, like, off the throttle, almost. Okay, that's working a little bit better. It's a learning curve. There's definitely a learning curve um, to any new game that you play. But for me, like racing games are, they're the one that I'm, I'm not good at. I've never been good at, and I've never really gravitated towards. So for me, it's really tough. I'm having to properly concentrate, <laughs> which is why I stopped talking completely just then, because I was trying to get around that corner. Come on, I'm not falling off the bike now, which is good. This is stunning, absolutely stunning, and um, I, I highly recommend it. Right, I'm going to leave it here. This is Ride 5 in VR with the Unreal Engine VR injector. One of the coolest, most realistic, and just intensely immersive VR experiences I've played with the Unreal Engine mod so far. Um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend this, even if I can't drive around corners. You know, um, I massively recommend it to anyone who loves racing games and even to those who don't. Because for me, I'm rubbish at them, I don't typically like them, but I want to learn how to play this purely because it's so impressive that I want, uh, I want to get good at it. Oh, I'm on the bloody grass now. I want to get good at it so that I can actually compete and stay up there with these other bikes. But right now, it's not working out that way. But hey, look, I'm not too far behind this time, so it's, it's a good time to leave it. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. If you have, please do leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you soon for another one. Take care of yourselves. Oh, this is a tight corner. Take care of yourselves. Oh, see you all very soon. No, no, please, please. See you very soon. Get rid of the flipping corner, you dick. All right, see you soon for another one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.